Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Sarah Erdner. Thank you so much for letting me be your mental strength coach. This information is brought to you for Figure It Out Baseball. Now this is video two of a three-part series that talks about visualization. If you haven't watched video one of this series, I highly encourage you to start from there where I talk about what is visualization and why it's important to your baseball performance. As well, if you have not watched the first series on mental strength fundamentals, I encourage you to start from video one of series one because each one of those videos build off of the next that are then things that I'm going to be referencing in this video series as well as the other video series moving forward. So, video two of visualization. We're going to be talking about how to properly visualize. So what I want you to do is to get a piece of paper and a pen or pencil. And again, pausing this video and taking as much time as you need to gather these materials. And then once you have these materials, I want you to stick with me here. I want you to first write down five things that you can physically see in your environment right now. So for example, I might write down that I see a door or I see a camera, etc. So write down five things that you physically see in your environment, pausing this video to take as much time as you need. Now that you've written down five things that you physically see in your environment, I want you to write down four things that you physically can feel on your body. So for example, I might say that I can feel this chair up against my legs or the socks on my feet, etc. So four things that you can physically feel on your body. Again, pausing this video and taking as much time as you need. Now that you've written down four things that you can physically feel on your body, I want you to write down three things that you can hear in your environment right now. So for example, I might say that I can hear the cars going down the street or the air conditioning, etc. So three things that you can hear right now in this moment. Pausing this video and taking as much time as you need. Now that you've written down three things that you can hear, I want you to write down two things that you can taste, which might be a little bit harder, but I really want you to take the time to be present with yourself and think about what are two things that you can taste in this moment. Again, pausing this video and taking as much time as you need. Okay, now that you've written down two things that you can taste, I want you to do this last one, which is one thing that you can smell in this moment. And that might be easier for some if something's cooking in the kitchen, or it might be a little bit harder, but one thing that you can smell, again, pausing this video and taking as much time as you need. Okay, now that you have completed this exercise, you're probably wondering why I had you do this and what it has to do with visualization. Well, what you need to know is that the best visualization is vivid visualization. And the more vivid you can make a scenario by using all five of your senses, the better your probability of actually executing that task in the best case scenario when you do actually execute the task in the future. So. What I want us to do now is on the same sheet of paper, I want you to write down a baseball task or scenario that you want to work on to enhance your performance. So maybe it's at bat, maybe it's hitting against the curveball, maybe it's fielding, whatever your position, I want you to write down a scenario that you would like to visualize in order to increase your performance. Now that you have this scenario written down, what I want us to do is to now apply the last exercise that we did to this exercise. I want you to write down, and here's a reminder, five things that you see, four things that you feel, three things that you can hear, two things that you can taste, and one thing that you can smell when considering the scenario that you wrote down. So for example, if it is a pitching scenario that you wrote down, I want you to put yourself in that scenario, visualizing it. What are five things that you see standing on that mound that are surrounding you? And then what are four things that you feel while you're standing on that mound? Maybe it's the ball in your hand and the glove in the other. What are three things that you hear? Is it the crowd? Maybe you hear your teammates in the dugout. Maybe you can hear your breath. What are two things that you taste, and then what's one thing you smell? 
And now I want us to apply this exercise to your scenario. Again, pausing this video to take as much time as you need to complete this exercise. Now that you've completed this exercise, I want to invite you to video three, where we're actually going to put the how-tos into action and go through a generalized and do a general visualization script using these tools that you just identified for your best case scenario visualization. So again, my name is Dr. Sarah Erdner. If there's any way you would like to talk to me about customizing this information for you, you can contact me at the information given at the end of this video. Thank you so much for letting me be your mental strength coach. This information is brought to you for Figure It Out Baseball. Ah!